Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to get straight into it again. I'm just going in with a Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer and applying that all over my face. It basically acts as a pore filling primer, really, really similar to the Benefit Professional. It's amazing and it makes the foundation look amazing as well. Uh, and then I'm going in with the Tarte 24 Hour Amazonian Clay Foundation and this is in the color Tan Sand and I'm just putting that all over my face with a small concealer brush and then buffing it in with my damp beauty blender. And then I'm going in with the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer and this one's in the shade Light Medium, I'm pretty sure. I'll list it down below if it's not. And I'm just placing that underneath my eyes, um, on the bridge of my nose, forehead, cupid's bow and a little bit on my chin and then also blending that out with my damp beauty blender. This concealer is so hydrating underneath the eyes. Um, it's really, really nice and really lightweight. So yeah, I'm actually really, really loving it so far. And then I'm going in with the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder and just setting the rest of my face. And then I'm just taking more of that translucent powder and kind of packing that underneath my eyes to set my concealer because I wanted to make the under eyes a little bit more brighter. I don't actually own a Tarte bronzer or contouring product so I decided just to use the Hoola Benefit bronzer as per always and you can get that from Sephora as well and then I'm going in with the Tarte blush in the shade Blushing Bright and just putting that on the cheekbones, no apples on my cheeks, on my cheekbones I'm putting the Mary Lou Luminizer by The Balm which you can also get from Sephora, all the products that I use today you can get from sephora.com.au and then for brows, I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Brow Pencil, and I'm pretty sure this is in the shade Medium Brown. If it's not, I'll leave it down below. And I actually really, really like this pencil. It's really, really similar to the Anastasia Brow Wiz. And yeah, I just liked how my brows turned out. And then using the same Maracuja Creaseless Concealer, I'm just using that on a concealer brush and carving out my brows. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the new Tartlet in Bloom palette and I'm going to go ahead and take Sweetheart and I'm just buffing that into my crease and using that as a transition shade. And then taking the color Leader, I am using that on the same brush and I'm just placing that into my crease just to give it a little bit more depth. And then I'm just spraying a bit of Fix Plus on a eyeshadow shader brush and I'm grabbing Funny Girl and just placing that all over the lid. And then just using the same blender brush as before and just blending those two colors together. And then I go ahead and go back in with Funny Girl just to make it a little bit more pigmented and then placing that on the inner corner area as well. So then I'm going in with the shade Activist on the same blending brush I've been using the whole eye look. I've only used this one brush and I'm just deepening the crease because I felt like I needed a little bit more darkness. And then I'm going in with the clay paint liner in black and lining my eyes and creating a little bit of a wing and as you can see I kind of stuffed up the wing but I saved it by just getting a little bit of concealer and a concealer brush and kind of cleaning up the sides of the wing you'll see in a second but yeah and then going back in with the palette, I'm taking the color Smoke Show and I'm just smoking out my eyeliner with a tapered blending brush. And then just taking the same clay paint liner and lining my waterline. So now taking Activist again on a, it's kind of like a eyeshadow packing brush and I really, really like this for smoking out the lower lash line. I'm using that to smoke it out and then I'm taking Rebel to make it kind of transition into like a soft smoky eye, if that makes any sense at all. And then I'm going in with Funny Girl again and then just going over my lid with it just because during the blending process you lose a little bit of pigment. So I'm just going over that again and then blending it all together. 
So next I'm taking the lights, camera splashes, waterproof mascara and just putting that on my top and bottom lashes in preparation for false lashes. So now for my favorite part of the whole look, which is the lips, and I decided to create like a nude ombre sort of type look. So I'm just lining with the lip crayon in Latergram, and then I'm going in with the lip cream in TBT, and then in the center I'm using the lip cream in Namaste, and I'm just using my finger to blend those colors together. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'll make sure to leave a direct link where you can purchase Tarte products from Sephora Australia down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.